What's going on guys? Um, let me try to get over here where the light is better. So we're here in Melbourne. We're here out on the street. Um, just had this crazy, crazy, crazy thing happen where we we're preaching and I'm, I'm actually talking to, to this girl and this other woman comes up and she's very upset, very irate, very emotional and um, was asking a lot of questions. She's very suicidal and I picked up the camera. She's yelling. She's telling us to stop because we're triggering people. She's very upset and I began filming her and she came over. She grabbed my, uh, my camera and my, my, my crane here and she almost broke it and she made me delete it right in front of her, delete the video, all right? She said that uh, she's been suicidal and the preaching is triggering her and it's giving her a lot of emotion, which that's a good thing. We want people to repent, we want people to run to Jesus. But the problem is she was very upset and uh, when we tried to talk to her, these other people impeded us. There was one woman who uh, said that the Sydney train video that you guys saw a couple of days ago that it's it's moving really quickly through uh, through Australia and a lot of people watch it the girl uh, she said she saw it this morning when we were preaching on the train in Sydney so a lot of news outlets are covering it and they're trying to twist it in a way that we're impeding on their their freedom when really that's just not the case uh, we just want people to have hope now this girl she was gonna talk to me uh, she was gonna get she was gonna let me uh, uh, Pray with her. She's gonna let me talk to her. She was so upset, and these other people that got in my way and wouldn't even let me, uh, wouldn't even let me talk to her. Wouldn't even let me, let me reach her. And just a suicidal woman. We have all the answers we could give her that could change her life. And this, uh, actually, the guy at the mission is a Satanist, and said that he wasn't gonna allow us to talk to her, or he was gonna call the police. He's the, I guess, the security at the mission. Said he actually literally came out and said he loves Lucifer. Uh, weren't able to film that, but they ran us off and he said he was going to call the police and just a lot of spiritual warfare going on. A lot of spiritual warfare going on and all these news outlets, they want to talk to me, but it's to paint me in a bad light and it's just really unfortunate. What's that? She said she's never met a Satanist They're out there, I promise you. This woman came by, Just was she mocking? Yeah, she, she was mocking, she just came by, she was mocking and saying, I've never met a Satanist in my life. But the truth is, uh, I've taken Satanists, former Satanists through deliverance. I've met a lot of them uh, in the upper Midwest, Pacific Northwest. There's a lot of Satanists, actually. Uh, so anyway, just a really crazy day. And I need your prayers. There's a lot of spiritual warfare going on. We're out here on the streets, preaching the gospel. Got these two brothers here. Another brother who was actually preaching, who's uh, from Sudan, he took off. I guess he got scared. Uh, but just a lot of crazy stuff going on. Please pray for us. Uh, you guys want to say anything? No? Right. I don't even think they want to be in the video too much. Uh, pray for us, please. And if you're watching this from uh, Sydney, from Melbourne, anywhere else in Australia, you're checking out the channel because you saw the preaching on the train. Look, I'm not trying to indoctrinate you into religion. I'm trying to give you hope and purpose so that you can find the salvation of your soul. One day you're going to die. And if you die in your sin, you're going to perish for eternity. Your soul in your body is eternal. And Jesus Christ paid the penalty for your sins. If you trust in him, you can have confidence and surety that you will reign with him forever. And if you reject him, you decide this religion thing's not for you, you don't want to love Jesus, then that's on you, but you get a choice. You get to do whatever you want to do, and I don't want you to go to hell. I don't want you to face the wrath and the judgment of God. We're going to stand before him. We're going to count. Either Jesus has paid the ransom for your sin, he's covered you in, your blood, in his blood, or he hasn't. All right, you have a choice today. That's why I'm here. I love you, and I care about you. There's no other reason. Please know this. Repent while you still have a chance. Turn away from sin. Run towards God. And say, God, help me. Save me. Forgive me. Give me purpose. Help me to know you. Put your spirit inside of me. I used to be a very broken man who was really bad and did a lot of bad things. If he could change me, he could change you. God bless you guys. Thank you for your prayers.